not married, we are not engaged, we have not taken any drastic steps since the last time he saw us, and he has not proposed. I will jab you in the throat. Alright, hey guys, we are doing the Mr. and Mrs. quiz. You ready? <laughs> anyway, first question. So, okay, before we start the first question, here's how it's going to go. I'm going to read the question, and then one, two, three, we're going to give the answer er, that, that for one, the opposite for person. For the opposite person. So you're going to answer for me, and I'll answer for you. Well, let's hope this works. <laughs> this will be great. Or we might get into a fight. <laughs> you might see it. Okay. What's the one thing apart from you that they'd save in a fire? One, two, three. Your Michael Kors first. Well, Michael Kors first? <laughs> no. <laughs> he would save his phone. Am I right? You honestly think I'd save my Michael Kors purse? Yes. No. Could you carry everything else in, like your phone and all that other stuff? So I'm not even know. carrying my Michael Kors purse right now. True. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wrong. Sure. But you cry. One for Brit. Ding, ding, ding. The score is going to be like down here. His job, his friends, his hobbies, and you put them in order of priority. And then, okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna put it in priority. And then I'll, and he said, question, you put it in priority. Okay. okay. So... His job, his friends, his hobbies, and you put them in priority. His job, his hobbies, me, his friends. Wrong or right? Wrong. Next, my turn. Job, friends, hobbies, you, for me. Put them in priority. Hobbies, me, job, and then... uh, What hobbies do I have? What do I do? Yeah. What do I do on a daily basis? You too. Fight number one. <laughs> what do I do on a daily basis? It's a joke. It's going to be me, then her hobbies, then her job, then her, uh, her friends. The ones I don't have. Yeah. What would he say is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? <laughs> okay. So there's this one time we were coming back home and, uh, like we were going, I was going up the stairs ahead of Brit. <laughs> you know what they say. We were going up the stairs ahead. Of, I was going up the stairs ahead of Brit, and then all I know is I hear this boom boom. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and look, and her ass done fell down, the tripped on the step and fell all the way down. <laughs> and so, not only that, maybe like a day or two later. <laughs> She had another moment that equals that is where I go up the stairs ahead of her again. I turn around like, you going to be good this time. She kind of looked up at me and then I go around the corner and I didn't go into the room and she didn't know. And they say no. I jump out right when she comes around the corner and she goes, ah, just like, just like that. I was just like, I was like, so if somebody attacked you right now, they you wouldn't know what to do. You do. That's what she did. Say I would have never thought that she would say that. Uh-huh. Because that it wasn't embarrassing because it was in the house. <laughs> we were in the house. It, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't exactly embarrassing, but the way, like, if you saw her, it was embarrassing because the whole time after that, she was red. Like, she was like, oh, I didn't do Like, yeah. Uh, anyway. Say it. Okay. What would I say is the most embarrassing thing he's ever done? Black cap? Yeah. That ain't embarrassing. Let me tell you what is embarrassing. We weren't dating yet. And just the whole situation before we started dating, that was embarrassing. There was a girl and she didn't like me because she felt like I stole him away from her. And she was rude and she did... 
it was just a mess and it was embarrassing. Next question. I didn't like it. No, we move on when I say we move on. <laughs> What's the name of the other's favorite celebrity crush? Alright. I say Alicia Keys still. I'm going to say I'm going to say eat yourself. <laughs> okay, well, who's your celebrity crush? Janet Jackson. What? <laughs> I would have never said Janet Jackson. Well, you were wrong. Next. <laughs> I was, I, since I was wrong, what's your? Who's the guy with the green eyes from Barbershop? Michael Ely. Him. Michael Ely. I was thanking him earlier, but then I was like, mm. Who would play him in a movie of his life and vice versa? I really have no idea. So I'm just going to say Terrence Howard if you gain some weight. What? Terrence? No. Who would play you? Who would play me? Okay. Do I know who she is? I would say, I would say Raven Simone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who, was your, who would you want to play you? I can't see nobody playing me because that's just weird. If you, get, if you had gained weight, I think Terry Tower would be a good fit because he can take on any. He can be mean. He can be really nice. He can be funny. I think it's a good fit. You didn't ask me who would play me, but whatever. Who would play you? Uh, stop. Who? Be quiet. You about to? Okay, get both. Mm. If we're going older in life, but that celebrity could like stay. They could be dead and gone. You can say anybody. For my regular everyday life, Taraji P. Henson. Oh, so we just empowering it up. And no, she's just good at what she does. And then for what I wish my life would have be would have been, um, if I had taken that scholarship to Berkeley College of Music in Boston, then it would be, uh, it would have to be, if I was really skinny, Whitney Houston. But if I stayed the same weight, then uh, Fitzgerald. Okay. Um, where does your significant other want to go on a honeymoon? I have no idea. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you. I have no clue. I said somewhere in the mountains is what I thought. But I'm not going anywhere cold, so. The Bahamas. That's too hot. Next question. Is that what you thought I was going to say? The Bahamas? That's too hot. Where do you want to go? The Bahamas. Oh. BG. Next. That's too far away. You didn't ask me where I wanted to go. Where you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I was going to say something that's kind of mean, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> um, I just want to go on a cruise. Ship. We're not going to our Cuba. All right. Europe would be nice. Okay. Lost my question. Let me keep turning your phone. Um, how many children does your significant other want? Mind you, he already has one. So, he said four. Last I checked, he said four kids. How when you say an even number, you were like, well, if I get two out the box, then I'm good. And I was just like, but I don't want three. I was like, okay. Okay, so how many children do you think I want? Six. No. Four. No. Two. Yeah. What year did you get together? 2014. 2001. I would have killed him by now. 
2014. Uh, how do you like to fall asleep, cuddling or apart? Part. For him, apart. For him, the answer would be apart. Oh yeah, for me it's apart. Her is cuddle. Would you trust him to treat to choose your wedding dress? No, she would not. Then well, when are we getting married? Is the question. It's just court, give no. a date. Just give a date, and I'll give you an answer. No, no. The question asked, "Do you trust me with your wedding?" It didn't say a date. I don't. I'm not gonna give you a date because I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. So. That if it's like 10 years from now we finally decide to get married I didn't sit there and say I didn't sit there and say that you yeah have but to I said that it. question no I wouldn't now no no 10 okay. years from now maybe how many times do you take his driving test once what's his favorite meal corn casserole is part of it he's not a humongous fan of chicken um, so something with beef. Britt's favorite meal is coffee with a donut. Yeah. No. What's his special name for you? Britt. And your special name for him? That's for you, Nancy. Julie. Yep. Damn! <laughs> Would you rather spend an evening out with his parents or your parents? Her parents. <laughs> what's his favorite song oh uh, something with fire in it <laughs> flaming fires fetching fires catching fires <laughs> sending flames what is it oh my god what is it it's called first fires I was, I was close and what would he say your favorite song is that Ariana Grande song you've been playing all morning. No. What's the first movie you ever saw together? Now, I'll go ahead and admit that I don't remember it. Not because it wasn't memorable, because I have a terrible memory. Because he just told me upstairs what his favorite song was and I already forgot. <laughs> so, I have no clue. I know you remember, but I don't remember at all. We went and saw Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. So I was right! Oh my gosh! This whole time I've been saying, was saying that like ah. I was like, we saw that movie with the monkeys, and I kind of liked it. I, I like it, but I didn't like it. But then there was this other movie with monkeys. It's like yeah, because we keep seeing stuff with monkeys, and I'm we like, we saw one movie with monkeys. Period. Anyway, what's his favorite time of year? Summer. What's my favorite time of year? Fall. And the last question does not pertain to us because it says what were his exact words when he proposed and who no, asked him no. No. So, <laughs> that is the Mr. and Mrs. Tag. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go hurt him now. Um, he was okay today. He was alright. Oh my gosh. He was alright. But, thanks for coming over and watching us on the watch party segment we really really appreciate it there's gonna be a link where on your peck the link is going on your peck where do you want it the link for my gaming channel is going to be here <laughs> or here <laughs> or here right here. here thanks for watching guys <laughs> We'll talk to you later. <laughs>